Britain has around 50% of the world's population of grey seals. Once every year, at about October to November time, the seals come into Britain's beaches to give birth and rear pups. It was this annual spectacle that I wanted to see. So my friends and I camped in a tent near the beach to catch on camera the miracle of new life. Male seals, like this handsome fella here, are called bulls and the females are called cows. These marine mammals can weigh anything from 250 to 400 kilograms, with males generally being the heaviest. It's a lovely sight. Just these two bulls sleeping here. When they're out at sea, they'll eat, all, of course, fish out there. But when they're here on land, there's nothing for them to eat, so they just survive off of their fat reserves. They rely on all their fat reserves for their energy and to keep them warm as well. But as you can imagine, when they're here, out on the beach, they lose quite a lot of weight. At first, there wasn't really much action. Their lives seemed blissful and peaceful. I suppose shifting all that weight around must be exhausting. Suddenly, things started to get dramatic and the bulls began to size each other up. After all, this time of year is when the cows give birth and then become receptive to mating. So the bulls have a lot to fight for. Testosterone filled sky high, these bulls can pack a punch. Fighting for their right to mate and for their territory they put their lives at stake to ensure that their DNA is passed through many generations. It was humbling to watch these powerful bulls tear at each other, fueled by hormones. Victory for our handsome prince as another one bites the dust and retreats. This bull can gloat as he has won this battle. No time to celebrate though. This bull is straight back to business, intercepting other males who pose a threat. A bull's work is never done. Once the lads have been seen off, it's time to flirt with the ladies. Although it seems this cow isn't too impressed, she hasn't given birth yet and won't be receptive until a couple of weeks after. Dusk is drawing in. It's time to head back to camp. Something tells me it's going to be a long and cold night. Right, um, so I'm in the tent and we're just getting ready to go to bed. We're just packing up. We've got another bright and early start tomorrow um, before sunrise again. Really, really fantastic day. Um, and I can't wait for tomorrow, so hopefully tomorrow will bring more good footage and more photos. I'll say goodnight now. Good night. As the night creeps in and we settle down, some other creatures are just waking up. Outside the tent, we had an unexpected visitor. However, the wildlife outside doesn't seem phased by the wildlife inside. Ooh, 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 ooh. Mom! Mom! <coughs> Let's just pretend you didn't see that. Good morning from Lincolnshire. Um, so, it's first thing in the morning, we've all had a cup of coffee, freezing cold night, however, we're all raring to go. Uh, yesterday, went to the beach, there were bullfights, there were cows in labour, there were a few pups around, um, but we're really hoping that today, specifically a few of the cows that we were watching in labour, have had their pups. 
um, which would be absolutely amazing if they have, because then there'll be fresh pups there for us to film and photograph. So, fingers crossed. As we headed to the beach, I was praying that we would be able to see a newborn pup. My prayers were answered. He'll be with mum for about 18 days um, and then once the suckling period's over, that's it, he's on his own. After that, mum goes off, finds some bulls and mates. But she won't give birth again until this time next year. This tiny, fluffy pup will only weigh about 13 kilograms and is covered in thick, insulating fur. His mother is always nearby and recognises her own pup by its smell and cool. The intimate bond she has with her pup, it gives me goosebumps. Here she is familiarising herself with her pup's smell and encouraging him to suckle. This tiny pup will suckle from his mother about five to six times a day. The milk is rich in fat and the pup will rapidly gain weight. This little dude will return to this exact beach every year from now on, as his ancestors have been doing for decades. And sure enough, in no time at all, the fatty milk means that pups just get bigger. And bigger. And bigger. Until they reach almost their full size. which just leaves mum with one last important thing to do before headed out to sea again. Today is this bull's lucky day. He gets to put his flippers all over Big Mama. All good things must come to an end. It's been an amazing time. Um, it's been a real emotional roller coaster, really. I mean, from bullfights and unfortunately a pup getting trampled to death by the bullfight to something really positive, which was watching a mum and her pup bonding, that intimate bond that, that they have together, and the mum learning the smell of her own individual pup. So it was really amazing, really heartwarming stuff. Um, it's been such a great time. We've had so much fun. It is one of the most humbling experiences ever to be laying on the ground, watching a mother and her pup just bonding. And a lot of the time sleeping. They do a lot of that. Um, something of which I haven't been doing a lot of lately. And speaking of which, we're packing up now, we're going to go home, it's the end of a trip, as I said, all good things must come to an end, so I'm going to go home, catch up on some much needed sleep, um, because we've been getting up from sunrise to sunset at the beach filming, so oh, it's been an amazing trip, absolutely fantastic.